What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're doing some more Resident Evil 7, and we're going to continue where we left off. Got to jump right into it. Last episode, we recorded like 40-plus minutes of content, and I got the sniff of fresh fart from Mia's ass, but we're not going to talk about that. I just decided to bring it up for an awkward moment, you know? All right, so yeah, we're, we were here... That still scares me. Like, every time I hear it, it's so unnerving. I'm locked. Ah, yep, I remember this. It's always calling. You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? Thank you. What the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh. And that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Understandable. I will do my damnedest. Oh, Alright, now I believe here we can just store items that we don't need. I'm gonna put my antique coins in here momentarily, right? Uh, because I don't really see a need for anything else. So yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. I want to go use my lockpick here. Because you can use lockpicks to unlock these. It's pretty self-explanatory. I could use that now. Now we can uh, traverse further into the game. But as of right now, there's not exactly much we can do. Until a very short amount of time when something happens. I'm just waiting for it. What do we got here? I think that's Zoe, but I'm not too sure. Y'all can tell me in the comments. You got Lucas back when he wasn't a fucking dickhead. You got Jack and Margaret uh, back when they were at a kind version of themselves where they weren't completely corrupted. Actually, if he was like genuine still, like he wasn't how he was now, I would love to like meet him and look at him like a father figure because he seems so nice. Like, when you actually see him in his nice form. And Lucas, I, I actually don't know what it's like. Wait, I didn't realize I said something there. Hold on, where to say that? Lucas, February 2013. You don't know him, but you get the feeling he's an asshole. Alright, well, I can hear the banging, so let's go. Uh, pretty much what the banging is, is there's a cop on at the window. Yep. Hey, over here. I'm coming, Piggy Piggy, hold on. Hey, you gotta help me. Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? What? Me? No. No. All right. Now, we got several calls about some missing persons lately. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. Now, calm down. You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right. Let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, We've had several missing persons calls. And I can't rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. All right. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right. Now, that's more like it. Now, meet me in the garage. We'll talk there. Hey, wait. You got to give me your gun. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Look, officer. Deputy. Right. Deputy. Now, do you want to see my name in the obituaries? Or do you want to be a hero and save my life? A fucking pocket knife? Here. Take it. That's all you're gonna get. Now go. Garage. Now. Now, the funny thing is, he gives us a pocket knife, but it's actually a necessity here, because we can use it. <clears throat> Got some handgun ammo, and also we can come down here and use it to progress. I don't feel as hyper as what I did last time I recorded, by the way. I just woke up, like, a little bit ago. I gotta start waking up real early. And there he is. Let's get going. What's up, hey, officer? Or deputy? You need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. 
Hey, yo. Oh, shit. Yo, that's fucked. That is so fucked. Um, give me that first aid. Hey, bro. Calm down, bro. Calm down. Oh, leave me alone. Please, please, please. I literally did nothing. I just woke up, man. Calm down. Can you please give me a moment? Like, give me a moment. Just literally one moment to breathe. Hold on. Oh, God. Please, Jack. Please. Oh, get in the car. Get in the car. Oh, shit. Um. Oh shit, that's scaring the fuck out of me. Uh oh. My fucking controller is vibrating in the chair. <laughs> oh god. I gotta unplug that. <laughs> oh god, my fucking controller was vibrating and it was scaring the shit out of me. Oh, that's lovely. Oh my god! Hey, Jack! How you doing? Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh god. Let's finish this, you and I. Oh no. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take you for a ride. Wait, is he touching the brakes? <laughs> Why did it look like Ethan was holding the brakes? Well, not the brakes. It looked like he was pushing forward on the gas. Cause his feet are on aren't on the gas. That makes no sense. You good? Holy shit. Well, that's a hell of a, a thing, ain't it? Are you good? Uh-oh. I know where this is going. Hey, back away from me. Back away. You son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Jack, I just want you to know you're an asshole, bro. Giving me a heart attack and I just woke up. Alright, I don't think there's anything else really here. We're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Is it not gonna let me... There we go. Hey, yo. Do I have your attention, boy? You're about to see some wonderful... Oh, fuck! Yikes. No, I wasted that. I forgot. It's C the crouch, not control. Fuck me. Um, that's a gnarly little head injury. Fortunately for you, you'll be fine. I still think it's sad. I wasted that shit. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, yep. F. Yep, unscrew that. And I got an ox statuette. And now we get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that was, that'd be a hell of a thing. Uh, Mr. Piggy Piggy, he's dead. Pretty dead. There's no coming back for Piggy Piggy. Um... There's nothing I forgot here. There was no point into coming in this room, honestly. At least not yet. I know I have to in a little bit. But not as of right now. So now we just continue forward. Oh yeah, we have the knife now, so I can get this guy over here. Got him. 
Um, we want to use the ox statuette. The door will unlock. And we can now go in. Thank you. Oh, I can combine. Alright. Gunpowder. Antique coin. Hello? Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he... he he's, a, he's dead now. <laughs> you just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. You know what you can pull off, Ethan? You really want to know what you can pull off? You can pull off these nuts. Got a clock pendulum. Now, uh, over 20 years in... Uh, oh, no, over 20 missing in two years. Captain Howell from State Police told the porters they have started a search for Helen Midkiff, a college student from North Carolina who is traveling in Louisiana. Miss Midkiff hadn't been heard of since the night of the 21st. Reports of missing persons in South Louisiana have increased dramatically in the past two years. The majority of those missing are tourists and vagrants. At least 20 people are thought to have gone missing so far. Police suspect foul play and believe there may be a connection between the incidents. Plans are in place to set step up local interrogations and increase personnel to further the investigations. Alyssa Oshcroft, Ashcroft, January 19th, 2016. Forgive me, my reading is never the greatest because I can never fucking talk. Stupid as balls 24-7. There we go. Now yeah, there's a shotgun in here. Can't necessarily do anything with it yet. So I know what we need to do. We're going to come back into this area one last time because we have to get the dog head, which is important to get out of the house. So we're going to come over here and put the thing in here, the one thing we got, the clock thing. Thank you. So we got the white dog head. I would say it's definitely the easiest one to get. Now, I believe the red one is where we gotta fight Jack himself. And it won't even be the final time that we see Jack. So let's uh, put the white one in here. One done. Um... Uh, I don't have the thingamabob. I think we gotta go upstairs. Oh, yeah, I do remember this. Alright, well, I guess we're going upstairs. Hey, Evelyn. How are you today? You aren't fucking creepy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, obviously, I know we can't go in here yet. We don't have the snake key, but I'm still... Oh. Evelyn, May 2nd, 2014. In a way, she looks like an ex-girlfriend I had. What the hell? Like a younger version, but close in resemblance. What the hell? Alright. <laughs> uh, maybe it's daddy's hobby. <laughs> he liked football. Uh, we got some pictures on the wall. Who the fuck is this dude? What do we got here? I don't know what that is. I don't know what those pictures are. I'm honestly confused. Oh. Gotta tape. Gotta do it. You know how it be. What do we got for this one? I believe it's Mia. Uh, Mia. Ethan, please watch this. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, July 19th, 2017 at 9.28pm. So this was near midnight. Ethan, if you find this. I know I can't expect anything from you. Not after what happened. After what I did. But I just want you to know that wasn't me. I don't I don't know what happened. There's so much that you need to know. There you are! You gave us quite a scare, young lady. Oh Jesus. In we go. Run me around. 
Okay, she's slow as molasses. I think we're all right. Uh, not really anything. Oh, dear. What? No, oh, you can't. Okay. Over here, mommy. What is it, Evelyn? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Bitch is playing peekaboo with my... I don't know, she bamboozled me. Oh, I remember this, I remember this. Yeah, we hide right here. I remember this. Done to deserve this, except open my home and feed. Oh, God. I don't understand you at all. This is a gift. Fucking run, God damn. Oh shit. This isn't disturbing, not by any means. If I wasn't me a situation, I'd be traumatized at this point. This would give me PTSD. I know you were I think I don't know what you want Hello. to do that boy, Ethan. Oh, God. This is the best I could do. What I would do is I'd fucking just hang off this. Like, she couldn't catch me if I was doing that shit. The only thing she could see is my hands, and she'd have to come way over just to spot them. Oh, God. of you not to open your harm, home or your hearts. I hate you both. Like, I despise both of you. Oh, this is the this puzzle, which I think is really interesting, but I'm still not used to, like, uh, uh, like, rotating it with my mouse. It's still really weird playing out on mouse and keyboard when it comes to shut like this. But I get the point. Because it's like I have to flip it and make slight adjustments. It's, it's very interesting. And here we go. If I were going through here, I'd be considered so unlucky because I would have so many fucking splinters. I'm also fat as shit. Well, I'm not really fat, but I'm big enough to the point where, um, I remember this too. I gotta fucking hide. Where is she? She loves you. She wants us to be a family, goddammit. Oh. 
you. You! All you have to do is accept her fucking gift! I don't want to accept shit! I just want to slowly we stay out of your you eyesight. You see that? I don't love you. I hate you. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> there are known unknowns here, and you are not paying fucking attention. Okay. <laughs> that makes no sense. You think little Evie's gonna put up with your shit forever, bitch? I am through playing games with you! You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? Oh my god. See you, bitch! No, 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 no! You don't fucking try to escape your share of the blame! Goodbye! <laughs> bitch, Mia, if you had any strength, kick this shit in and get away! Oh, that's lovely. Is this Zoe and Evelyn, or is this Mia and Evelyn? Oh. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. It's a way to go. It's a hell of a way to go. Huh. <laughs> what did they do to you, Mia? Um... They're trying to fill her mind with thoughts that she does not want to have. It's a very scary situation. Um, I don't really have any gunpowder. Also, I don't think I need the shotgun ammo right now. I don't have a shotgun. Uh, October 2nd. Reports say a storm's coming. I had a lot of trouble cleaning up after the last one a few years back. I guess it's time to reinforce the windows and store up the roof. Or shore up the roof. Maybe I'll get Lucas to help. The water has finally receded on October 9th. The house is alright, but the old house was badly damaged. Lucas is making a fuss about a huge ship that's washed up in the bayou. If that's true, I better report it to the parish. I'll go check it out tomorrow. Um, I wonder who that's about. Nothing in there. Just a bunch of fucking cans there. You know, the usual. Uh, Marguerite, move that piece of shit hippie we caught from the hall to the processing area. Another one of those. Break that. Can't go in here yet. We don't have the scorpion key. And as far as I know, there's nothing else in here as of right now that we need. Ah, uh, nothing in there. This will just take us to the downstairs area. Oh, chem fluid, yes. Uh, do I have any more room? No, I gotta go put some shit in storage. I also do not have a lockpick. More handgun ammo, and I need a lockpick for that. Anyway, I know what we gotta do. Oh. Shit! I might have to, like, get rid of something. Hold on. Actually, no, I might be okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bing bong. Another antique coin, getting plenty of those. More handgun ammo, lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, nothing in there. Now we do the fun shit, right? Um, here. That's fucking disgusting, man. Okay. Now we gotta... Oh god! Heck of a thing, ain't it? Sure shit beats the hell out of dying. 
I think I'd rather die than end up like you. See you, bitch! Oh, he jumped down after me! What the fuck? You're fucked. He's on my ass, bro. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Hello there. <laughs> Let me be, bro. Let me be. I should have went in the safe room, to be honest. I'm going in the safe room for a minute. Holy shit, bro. Get me the fuck in here, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, get those in here, right? Oh, you can choose to... Okay, that makes it quicker. Get all the stuff out of the inventory I don't need as of right now. And uh, I think we should be good, right? Can I move things? Um, I don't know how to do this on mouse and keyboard. I know how to on controller, but oh well. Okay. Oh, yeah! Ah! No way, bro, no way. You wasted your time! No, 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 no. Oh, shit. That low-key scared the piss out of me, dude. Oh, Oh, I hate that, bro. I hate that so much. Um, I think it's like... Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm getting the hang of that. Man busted down the wall like the Kool-Aid man. Scared the fuck out of me. It shocks me that scared me so much. <laughs> Alright. Holy shit! No. Uh, can I grab you? Thank you. Shotgun shells, I'll just put that in my chest later on. I got a lot of herbs building up. More hanging ammo. Chem fluid. I can take those. I need the crow key for that. Although I can break that. Um, yeah, I remember this. Handgun ammo. Uh, nothing I can do necessarily over here. Now, here's where we come into our first molded. What is this? Another antique coin. Oh, God. That's disgusting. Um, no, nothing really over there. Open nothing. Looks like a kid drew it, probably. That says Mia. What's this say? Uh, June 14th, vacationing husband and wife. The husband was a success. He's the 12th. Unfortunately, the wife was no good. So we'll just get rid of her. July 7th. Three college girls. They're all rotten. Lucas is a damn idiot. August 13th. Homeless man. Turned in three days. He's the 13th. Um, yikes. So that has to do with them turning into molded. I'm gonna pull out my gun, though, because I already know where this is going. Reload it. What the... I pull up... <laughs> All right, I didn't miss a shot on the fucker. Thank God. Went much smoother than what I anticipated. Still gonna get that key momentarily. Now, fortunately, we have an area in here. 
Got more handgun ammo. Uh, do not have a lockpick, so I can't go in there yet. Oh. Dear Courtney, those bastards are looking for me, but maybe this gives you a chance to escape. To escape, you have to find the relic. The re the relics? That says... Did he mean to put relics? Shaped like dog heads. I saw one of the heads in the dissection room underground. Get it. It's the key out of here. Something's wrong with me. It must be that shit they made me eat. If I'm gonna die, I'd like to at least go out fighting. I'm gonna get a hold of that shotgun I saw in the rec room and make them regret what they did to me. You need to get out of here. I love you, Courtney. Love, Travis. Oh, it's Travis. Yeah. We see him in a few. But not in this episode, because I'm putting some shit in here and then we're ending it. You know. Because I feel like... There wasn't really much to put away, honestly. But yeah. Gonna save it up here and we're gonna end the episode. Um, it was a fun episode. Got scared the shit out of. I'm gonna end it here to try to save a little bit of time. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Uh, feel free to dislike if you didn't. It's honestly up to you. I could care less, honestly. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.